Hi class, welcome to Theater 171. This is our beginner theatrical costuming and design class. Uh, we are gonna be starting one of our bigger projects. Um, this is gonna be our apron project. So there's a couple pieces that I've given you in your packet that should come in the kit that you picked up on the first week of class. Um, there are gonna be two sizes that we're looking at for this apron. Um, there's a medium size and a large size as well. So the big thing that you're gonna need to know is um, uh, if you are gonna be cutting out the medium size, which is the smaller size, there's gonna be some extra steps to cutting out the right size. If you're a large, then you're gonna pretty much stick with the given size that you have. So on all of your pieces of paper, you will see um, there's quite a few markings that are gonna be on this pattern. And I did wanna go over a couple of them with you before we get started. Uh, with the large, you can see here, the large is the outer edge and it's marked with a little L here. And then the medium is actually right underneath that. Um, what you're gonna be doing if you are a medium size is you're gonna be cutting right along the line. Um, what I would actually do is uh, rather than cutting right on the line, I would cut a little bit outside of that, probably about an eighth of an inch. Um, and that will give you a little bit of wiggle room just in case. Um, every piece that you're gonna see in front of you is gonna have this vertical arrow that you'll see here. Basically, that's just to mark the grain line. Um, and when we get to talking about fabrics, we'll understand a little bit more of why this is really important. But for now, this is gonna help you figure out the direction you need to lay out your pattern pieces onto your fabric. Every piece should be marked with a vertical line and it should say grain line. If it doesn't, just assume that that vertical line on each of your pieces is marking the same term. So you can see here, this is my main apron piece. You'll also have your pocket piece. So again, you see that grain line right there. Um, there's a facing that you're gonna be using on your apron. Same exact thing, this is that grain line. The important thing is that all of these pieces, once you lay them on the fabric, are all going the same direction. So having that vertical line helps us know which way to orient the piece once we lay it on the fabric. And then of course, your final piece is gonna be your neckline piece. And again, you see that there's um, a little vertical line. In this case, I'm holding it horizontal, but it is gonna lay this direction once we get it on the fabric. So again, why it's really important to have that green line direction, because we have that same vertical line that's on all of our pieces. Now, most of the patterns you will see here, I've given you these ones on brown paper, but any commercial pattern that you buy in a store or in a Joann's um, is gonna have the name of the actual pattern piece. And then it's also gonna tell you um, the size, typically in this case, not all of the pieces have a size because you'll notice that for the neck piece, it's the same exact piece for both your medium and your large. Um, the third thing that you'll see on here um, on any pattern piece is going to be how many you need to cut of this particular piece or this particular pattern piece. Um, in this case, for example, the neckline is going to be cut um, four. Um, our facing, you'll see here it says cut one on fold. Now, one of the things that you'll notice is an additional little marking that we see on this pattern piece. It's basically um, a little bracket with arrows pointing towards the edge. That little bracket is gonna tell us that that's the edge we need to put on the fold of the fabric. Once we actually get to laying out the fabric and I show you what we're gonna be doing with it, this will make a little bit more sense. But for now, um, that's just something that you need to pay attention to when you see that on a pattern piece. The other thing that you will notice on a lot of pattern pieces is these little notches or kind of, they look like little triangles. Um, in this case, there's two because there's one for a size medium and then there's one for a size large. That will make a little more sense later when we need to match up pieces. Um, having the notches on there is really helpful for us as the sewer to know what to line up once we take the pattern pieces off of the fabric because obviously you're not sewing with the paper, you're sewing with the fabric only. So having these little notches to help us, um, it gives us just a little bit of extra step so that once we take it off, we still understand what's going on. Um, on the pocket here, you'll see these dotted lines. This will eventually become a fold line for us. So again, a lot of the markings that you see on these pattern pieces are really important for once you get started on your actual apron construction. 
Um, so that's things that right now maybe don't make sense, but eventually we'll refer back to these little dotted lines and notches and lines uh, once we lay it out onto the fabric. Again, for the pocket, you'll see the medium size and the large size, just like you did with the facing, just like you did with the main apron piece. And then of course, finally, our, our main apron piece, you'll see again here that you'll, um, that little bracket where it says cut on the fold. In some cases, it'll just give you a little reminder, hey, place this edge on the fold. Um, but if you don't see that, that's what this bracket indicates. Um, that's the first thing you're always going to do when you notice that bracket. You're always going to lay that edge on the fab on the fabric fold. Um, you'll still see the grain line here. The other thing that you will find on this main pattern piece is this little dotted line here. And again, there's a size for medium and then there's a little size for large. These two little dotted lines are going to be what we line the pocket up on top of the apron later on. Um, so again, having all these marked um, and transferred to your fabric is going to be really important. Once we take all the paper patterns off, it's important to still have all those markings so we know exactly what we're doing on the fabric. Okay, so that's all of our pieces. Um, and then our next video, we'll be talking a little bit about how to lay those out, how to actually start cutting. Um, like I said, in this case, most of the time you can put the apron up against you on your body and you can kind of guess roughly about, you know, what size you think you need. In most cases, um, it's pretty self-explanatory with an apron. It's a little bit closer to a one size fits all. It's a little bit more flexible in terms of sizes. For me, because I'm a little bit shorter and I'm also a little bit smaller, um, the medium is probably going to be the fit that works best for me. So you can see here, the medium length is actually gonna eventually fold and kind of go around the body. Um, for those of you, again, who are using the large size, you're not gonna really need to do too many alterations to this pattern piece. It's gonna be left as is to lay on your fabric. For the medium, you'll need to do that extra step of just cutting right along the medium line and you're just gonna follow the dotted line all the way down. And that should be all the pieces that you have for your apron. So make sure you have all four of these. You will need all of them for your apron project. Follow along with our videos, show you each and every one of the steps that you'll need to complete your apron. We've given you a plaid fabric that can be used for your apron pattern. So that way you'll all have this flannel plaid to use at home. However, if you do choose to use another fabric, that's absolutely fine. We are not limiting you to the ones that we've given you. It's just there for your use.